This one's gonna be on a text user interface podcast client called uh, Casserole. So let's fire it up here. And the program's pretty easy to use. You just hit H for help. And this will show you all the hotkeys that you need to know. So the basic one you wanna know is, um, you know, Q is to quit, uh, A is to add a feed, D is to delete a feed, uh, you know, refresh here and save. This is also to delete your save too, right, for S. Uh, pretty much it, everything else is just, you know, arrow keys to navigate around. So uh, that is what we're gonna do here, all right? Uh, how do you do this? So to add some stuff, we'll go grab a feed here. Where's my feed? Uh, we'll add this MMA feed, right? And to add in here, you just hit A. And at the bottom here, it'll tell you to enter in your, um, what is that, your URL? So that's the URL we're gonna use here. And you just hit enter. And there you go, we have the feed here, right? And if you want to listen to it, uh, which I don't know if I should, yeah, we'll do it. Why not? You just hit enter on it, and it should uh, play the it. The following program is brought to you by Podcast One Sport. Uh, me muted, but you see, it's playing. Uh, if you just want to stream it, you could do that. You know, you, you need to be connected to the internet and all that. But if you want to like download it, just go on the episodes, and the way that you navigate between here is just your arrow keys, right? So left, right, left, right and up and down to, um, you know, uh, go to the uh, episode you want to listen to, whatever, right? So let's say, for example, I want to download uh, this for offline. So let's say on this one here, if I hit uh, S, um, it should start downloading here, right? So you see at the bottom here is downloading uh, that episode that we're on, and I will wait for it to finish here. So there you go, it says uh, successfully downloaded. So when you uh, hit R here to uh, refresh, we'll refresh it. And at the bottom here, we go back into that. So now you have this little, uh, what was it, bracket D brackets here. That's how you know it's downloaded. Otherwise, you can actually just look at, um, what was that, the metadata over here. It says downloaded, right? So this says uh, downloaded uh, and available for offline playback here, right? Uh, if you go to the other episodes, it does not say that. It says uh, episode not downloaded, right? Anyways, that's how you download stuff. Now, if you want to delete it, just go on there again and hit S. Uh, and it will ask you if you want to delete it. And we'll hit yes. And it will delete it. As uh, simple as that. And you can hit R to refresh it if you want. Right? And after you refresh it, uh, you see that that episode, it does not say download it anymore, right? Anyways, that's how you do that if you want to download it for offline usage. Otherwise, you know, I personally prefer just to stream it as is right now. And if you have other feeds, uh, this is what it'll look like, you know, for the other ones, right? Real simple. And you can add more and so on and so forth. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this program is uh, they don't have like Vim hotkeys, you know, by default or anything like that. Um, that's the only thing I, you know, I, I wish they had. Like anytime you create like an anchors type of uh, text user interface, uh, have the arrow keys, have Vim hotkeys, and if you have time, you can do you know the Emacs hotkeys. Otherwise, uh, pretty solid program besides like missing the you know Vim hotkeys. But you can actually um, what was it change your hotkeys, so it's not like a big deal. Uh, they do have a configurations that you can do. What was that one? Casserole. This one should be in your home folder. Dot config casserole and casserole dot config here, right? Or dot conf, I mean. And in here, uh, what do I recommend? First of all, uh, you know, it, when, when it tells you to delete something, it just automatically delete by default. So I personally like it to, to um, give me a confirmation before I delete something. So for example, if I want to delete something now. Let's say this uh, was a feed that we added earlier, right? If I want to delete it, it'll actually, uh, you know, ask you if you really want to delete it or not at the bottom. And then you hit yes or why, I mean, and it'll delete it, right? So that's how you would set that up if you want to, uh, you know, give you a confirmation before you actually delete the feed. Otherwise, you might accidentally delete something that you don't want to. Anyways, that's it. So this one was it, it supports uh, MPV and VLC. Uh, I think by default it's just MPV, right? 
Uh, as far as the hotkeys and, and what was that? No, you can do uh, color settings. So if you want to change like some themes and stuff like that, you can do that here. But as far as the hotkeys, uh, you know, if you don't like the way it is, you can actually change it in here. So it's not a big deal if they don't have like Vim hotkeys by default. Uh, you can always change it. Anyways, that's it for the configurations. Um, pretty simple program. I like it. Um, I'll actually probably use this one now because uh, before I was using NVLC and that one's not really good for managing uh, podcasts. But this one is really, uh, um, you know, a really good um, text user interface to handle all these podcasts that I listen to. Anyways, uh, check it out if you need a text user interface podcast client. That'll be it for this one.